Hello, and welcome to this. Yes. Yeah, no, this welcome is... Welcome to yes. Yes. East. Oh, East. I am your time captain, Evan Tognati, joined by Space Quartermaster Ryan McGinley. You've been hey. promoted. Yay. I'm sorry that we had that that, that break up there. It'll all it's be okay. fine. It's, it's okay, I understand. And uh, my very favorite virtual stowaway, Matthew Maliski. Yeah, I'm uh, about to win the East Challenge. Yep, you're about to win the East Challenge. With ease. With ease. Oh, boy. Let's, uh, let's oh, that one really now. winded me. That ease pun. Winded you. So the constitution I'm, is not not as good as as most. I'm pre- <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the sitch is this. Uh, we uh, we need a monocle. We have we we need a blue amulet that Gemma yeah. has. Um, the monocle we already have that just allows us to read the books of Ys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta go down to the 11th floor, I think. Yeah, it's the 11th floor. I remember when we were off air, some people being like, "Oh no, you don't know. It might be like the 17th." Well, there were there were ding uh, answers I was getting from the internet. I see. Seems like the internet is pretty divided on on the East and what to do in East. Oh yeah. Okay. Is this regarded as a classic? No. Yeah. No. I mean, it's not really regarded. But he really likes the music. It is sort of. I know it's sort of regarded. (laughs) Is it? Yeah, I've heard of Yeast before you played. I mean, I have too. I just don't think it's. Well, that means it's regarded. I I haven't heard of Soul Blazer. (laughs) Okay, you're right. By a very literal definition, people pay it regard (laughs) because people have heard of it. Yeah, that's all I meant. But. yeah, I certainly haven't heard a lot of like, oh man, East is an awesome video game stuff. Yeah. Atlas gave East their like video game music of the century award or something. Why is Atlas giving awards? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> because Atlas is a, is a cool guy, you know. Atlas, best game of the year, Catherine. Best game of 2008, Persona 4. Best game of 2012, Persona 4 Golden. Now he's just rattling off our awards. Basically. Yeah. Give Catherine gave him the air right. <sighs> right. That's not a JRPG. I don't no. have to play that shit. Thankfully. Well, maybe it is in the sense that you, you roleplay a character. Just to be clear, this is a this is a JRPG uh Archiving mission, not an every game ever archiving mission. Right. It's good to hear. Because that would actually be impossible. Yeah, I do kind of like this these uh, these driving guitars in the in the Yee soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, who doesn't, right? Really got me pumped to go down to that 11th floor. <sighs> what floor am I on? <laughs> 18. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Get out of my way. I don't need this shit from you, East. Um, Ryan's resetting Skype. <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. You had to pause just to... We oh. have a society. <laughs> yes? This is anarchy. I don't think those two match up. You can't have both. Is there such thing as societal anarchy? I feel like that's a... How did I get you to just went up. You just went tw- up. Too how far. did I get to 20? <laughs> <laughs> At most, I went up one floor. <sighs> <sighs> I think these, um, those, like, every time you go onto the balcony, that counts as a floor. That's oh, no. Mean. Here's what it is. Uh, this is one floor. These stairs. Yeah. Then this is another floor. These Yo, stairs. Yo, that's attention to detail. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I commend them. Seriously. They did a great job designing these. <laughs> they did a great job. It is like A-plus design work. Like the, the, on yeast. They did a great job. The interlocking systems and depth of Shin Megami Tensei 4. Easily. 
Easily comparable. Easily comparable. Uh, don't go up the stairs. <laughs> Just leave. Just fucking leave. I get the impression that you're a little down on yeast now. Uh, you know, look. <laughs> um, it is, uh, possible that you could convince me <laughs> that yeast is a, is a historically relevant and interesting game. Mm -hmm. Now is not that time. <laughs> Uh, right now, I'd rather just be frustrated at its at its, at its uh, wild incompetency. It's <laughs> fair. It's fair. Oh God! What do you Especially want from me? This is just a hallway to drain my health. There is nothing else going on here. Well, it was the hallway like you ran away from those guys down. It just doesn't work going the other way. No, that's not what happened the other way. <laughs> well, yeah, you could have worked your way around them. No, I c it was a single hallway. Going the other yeah, direction, they just spawned from the bottom. <laughs> you should have just been faster. Oh, you fucking idiot. Gotta go faster. God damn it. it. Man, this waiting for health thing is not good. <laughs> when you're out in the balcony. It's it about Call of Duty that... Yeah. It's better than, uh... When you're on the balcony is what I mean to say. They should just instantly refill. It's better than not having health. That's I'll true. give you that. <laughs> Especially since you can only ever have one health potion in your inventory. <laughs> in yeast? Yeah, yeah, it takes Whoa. up like a... You can a only ever carry one of everything. Takes up like a slot in your inventory. And then... Jeez. That. Well, I mean, it makes sense. You can't carry Wait, all that stuff. what the fuck is this? Um, you're on, like, the 17th floor down, or 16th floor. No, but this. Have I been here? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Wait, I yeah, have? Maybe you I don't remember. I really don't remember this tile set. Really? No. I think I'm pretty sure just... this is where, like, you got the monocle. Oh, was... Oh, God. It's just been so long. <laughs> It's so long since I played fucking East. Get out of my. Hasn't been that long. I mean, d before I started <laughs> again with you. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, I. I don't feel like there's any course of exit in this room. Okay, then maybe it's the other room that you're supposed yeah. to keep going down. I mean, I, yeah, I guess. No, there it is. Yeah, isn't there like oh. a... Ah, oh, fuck you. Also, I've never been here. Well, look at that isometric viewpoint. I have no also, idea what up. the... F what the up. fuck? Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I'm clearly not supposed to be here. I'm gonna do some <laughs> you investigation. You just broke the game, Evan. I show. I just booted into a different game. <laughs> you just oh, no, you're East playing ActRaiser? <laughs> I don't actually have an idea of what ActRaiser is as like a video game. It's like um, it's half sort of a SimCity light like management game and half mm -hmm. a side-scrolling action game. How is it like SimCity? Uh, you you tell people to you start in there's seven different landscapes that you uh -huh. need to populate, and you start with two origin people and you tell them to go build something and then they fuck and make more people. Oh, okay. And then those people also build stuff, and you, like, see progression, and they talk to you a bunch because you're God, and you... There's stuff where, like, oh, the people of this land are dissatisfied, and you don't know why, so you have to go to the next land where they discover... Or not discover, they invent music. Right. And, no, and you bring um, music to the dissatisfied people, and it cheers them up. No walkthrough makes mention of that spiral stair room you were just in. Oh, good. <laughs> So I'm just going crazy. Probably. Yeah, probably. So. Well, that's like that other thing we found that only mattered to like the lore of the game or something. Maybe. Whoa! I got the battle shield though. Nicely done. Didn't get that before. But yeah, I don't know if that's better though. Is it better? It is. No, it is. But then the um, the other. Oh yeah, but part. you need to make sure to equip all of your silver items when you're fighting the final boss, because otherwise you won't be yeah, able to I, damage him. I know, I know. I'll remember, I'm sure. Uh, what was I gonna say? That's right, Act Razor. 
Uh, and then once you, once you, like, basically the whole object of the town building is to discover, like, an area right. uh, of, of evil, like an evil shrine. Yeah. And when you do that, it zooms into the evil shrine. It's like a side scroller. And then you cut and up then a you boss, do stuff. And then you go to the next one. I got you. It's a okay. great video game. Yeah, it sounds good. It's one of the one of the best. Wow. Maybe not period. One of the best Super Nintendo games. Okay. That's one high of, praise from a game I've never heard, heard you speak of. One of the most original Super Nintendo games. Also, the, it, wait, is this the? Yeah, this is thirteen. You're pretty close. Just have to. Yeah, of course, now I stumble into the way up when I'm trying to get <laughs> down, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Do these, like, mirrors swap on you? I don't know. Probably no, not. They don't. Alright. It's just confusing, you know? Yeah, it's confusing me. Okay. And I'm not easily confused. <laughs> Yeah. Except That's like the thing problems. about you. <laughs> That's like my thing. Okay, there we go. Whew. So yeah, the game I gave you instruction to play, Soul Blazer. Isn't that a sequel? It's sort of a spiritual sequel to Act Razor. A case could be made that this chain of games that Enix uh, published on the Super Nintendo, starting with uh, EVO... Going through Act Razor, Act Razor 2, mm -hmm. Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, and Terra Enigma are all part of the same universe. They never oh, make okay. like explicit reference to it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I thought you were gonna say that like it was their best string of games or something. I mean, it is. Oh, okay. I mean, the Enix was that's before they became Square Enix. Right. That's before the merger. So. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I I barely even remember SquareSoft was a thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, Squaresoft was behind all that, and Enix was doing their stuff, and then they merged, and now it's okay. all gone to shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you are do you like all those games from Enix? Yeah. Uh, uh, EVO is is great. Mm -hmm. Act Razor is great. Act Razor Two ain't so hot because oh. they entirely stripped out like the the town building mechanics and just made it a really hard side scroller. Uh -oh. Just sort of less interesting. Yeah. Um, Soul Blazer is great, obviously. That's why I told you to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, Terra Enigma, I have never played because it never okay. came out here. But Illusion of Gaia is great. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm on. Is Illusion of Gaia recent? Because that does sound a little familiar. That's no, nah, it's Super. Nin it's all Super Nintendo. That's right. like ninety three, ninety four. Okay. okay. It's probably the most famous of those games, though. That or Act Razor. Right. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Probably Act Razor. Okay, what do I have to do with Ludogamma? Yeah, talk to her. I'm Wait, what? L Ludogamma. Please go rescue the girl who was brought into the annex. Can Ryan? <laughs> Ryan? Is Ryan here? Oh, shit. Ryan. For the love of I'm fucking looking. God. Oh. <laughs> Say something, dude. Don't. <laughs> to be clear, he muted the mic because of how furiously he, he was masturbating. Oh, okay, that's fair. But, yeah, I mean, I can't blame him. No, I'm, I'm looking. Okay, and... I think what you're going to find is that I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> I'm then getting please, the sense please that... Please go back to the top floor. Read... Read one of the books of ease. What? Okay... How? <laughs> With the monocle that I don't have? You don't have them. Hey, wait. No, there we go. Did it. Okay, good. Did it, did it. Now, oh. unable to read its strange lettering. <laughs> so where the oh, fuck is might... this monocle, huh? This might be an unmitigated disaster, Evan. <laughs> if you don't you guys? have this monocle. You guys, where's the monocle? Alright, well, let me um, go into a walkthrough and control F monocle. You guys? <laughs> you guys, the monocle's out of this dungeon, isn't it? 
I'm gonna have to go to the first floor, aren't I? Go to fucking what's her face in the town, aren't I? <laughs> monocle, an ancient monocle. Um, the lens seems to be. Let's see. It's in Darm Tower. Let's okay. See. Well, that's she a start. Praises, okay. The rod allows Adol to walk through the mirrors in Darm's Tower's 13th floor. Be prepared with some paper to keep track of the maze. Uh, Rado's Annex is next, and Adol needs to move across by exiting the 16th floor. In the southern part of the 16th floor is the Battle Shield, which is very useful to keep the incoming damage down. At the top of the small tower is a door which can only be opened by a powerful evil force. That might be the spiral uh, stairs. Yeah, that it is. It is the one Ryan claimed was not mentioned. <laughs> Now is the time to wear both the blue necklace and the evil ring. In that order, please. The door opens for Adol to find Rhea locked inside the room. She praises his persistence and hands over to Monocle to honor Rhea the books of Yeast himself. You should do this to learn, to learn about one specific it's... item. Blue amulet. Then you go back to the floor and shine it over. Okay. Did Ryan just disconnect, by the way? Um, yes. Because it made a noise. Okay. So here's the sense I'm getting. You gotta, you gotta go up it's to the It's good. Stairs. Okay, I made a yeah. save there, so that's good. Yeah. Because it seemed weird. Yeah. Um, Ryan was full of shit. <laughs> Matthew has saved the day. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. That's what. That's the feeling I have. The feeling deep inside. Yeah, that's accurate. Um, I, I see no objection. I guess. Oh, I don't have the battle shield. I don't think I should probably go get that. Oh, well, I don't think it's necessary. It's just recommended. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to have it, though. Oh, wow. Such dedication. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. Most of <laughs> these East episodes has just been you and me, <laughs> since yeah. Ryan keeps disconnecting. Yeah, really, I might have just won the East Challenge even compared to Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, I'm wondering, in games where, like, a guy has red hair like this, is he technically a human? Because humans don't have red hair like that. Um, like, like, they have, obviously, they have, like, orange hair, but... Right. No, he's a human. Right. There's a thing in Lightning Returns, which I'm currently playing, where people mm -hmm. keep killing uh, women who look like Lightning because they want to kill Lightning. Right. <laughs> um... And so, like, you talk to the investigator, and he's like, oh, this is, this makes four women with rose-colored hair. <laughs> like, rose-colored hair, huh? A lot of, a lot of rose-colored hair in these parts. <laughs> Fucking uh, whatever, Luxarian or whatever the name of this city is. It's something dumb like that, probably. Yeah, it's, oh, it, you got killed. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Just need to get down to the 16th floor somehow. <laughs> That hallway is pretty bullshit. <laughs> yeah, because it's just like, oh, you know the. Because there's not even any, there's not even any subtlety for the b bump combat. Yeah, you know, you know the combat mechanics. <laughs> mm. We just, just fucked you over. Just get really hurt. What if we just fucked you over? <laughs> that's 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 the East design. That was all uh, Japanese designers prior to 1995. Yeah. Let me just fuck you over right now. Okay, how do I go down? What's the down? <laughs> do you have a save maybe from a lower floor? Then um, you can just go up. Oh, yeah, yeah not time. really. I have the ten, but okay. maybe just don't worry about the shield. No, no, I am gonna worry about the shield because <laughs> this is gonna be your own doing. Yeah, probably. Okay, this is the shield country. Oh, okay. I, I feel it. Shield country. What? What's their? Uh, what's their national anthem? Is there, well, I mean, I, we it's all know the their theme national song. TV, to their the national shield. TV show is, of course, FX is the shield. Yeah, it's but... the it's the theme song to the shield. <laughs> that theme song. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know that one. I know intuitively. I know, I know there's a guy named Vic. That's yeah. about it. That's about all I know about S.H.I.E.L.D. Good to know. Other than that, it's apparently great TV. Battle S.H.I.E.L.D. Nice. <laughs> You've just robbed S.H.I.E.L.D. country of their one, uh, one prize <laughs> possession. Hope you feel safe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring 
shield country to its knees. <laughs> I'm basically the bane of shield country. Bane as in bad for shield country, or bane as in, like, Batman? Uh, bane, well, both. Yeah, I guess here's bane the thing. is sort of a bane. Yeah, here's it's... the thing about bane. His name is apt. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, hard bottom. All right, Wait, sweet. what? Now you're just on there. Yeah, yeah, keep going. The spiral stairs. Dude, what the fuck? Don't How did question. that? Don't. Why are you worried about this? <laughs> no, I'm just confused about the le the geography. Never mind. The geography. If people were, if people watching were paying attention with me, they understand why I was confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I didn't. I thought that that was... Clearly this was always just the 16th floor, and I yeah. thought I had to go down. But it... That fucked me up. Right. I see. Okay. Okay, you need to wear the the uh, blue necklace and ingo evil ring in that order. Yeah. Equip. Item. Okay. Blue necklace... Mm -hmm. Equip. Evil ring. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Equip that. Let's save. Let's fuck this. Fuck this shit up. Hello, Rhea. Hello. I wasn't saying hello to you. I was saying hello to Rhea. Yeah. Rhea, Rhea. the Troubadour. Do you remember? By the way, the be captured. By the way, those spiral stairs that no walkthrough mentioned were integral to this. Yeah, apparently I found that out while I was resetting my computer. God fuck. I was like, Evan's gonna be mad. Oh, well, thanks to me, I saved the okay, name. The name of the man who locked her in the room is Dark Fact. That that checks out. <laughs> A fearsome man of ill intent who wears a jet black cape to intimidate those around him. This yeah. scene was made in the 1990s, Evan. I mean, you gotta cut some slack. People didn't know how to write back then. He means to use the. P yeah, all good, all good books, movies after. Yeah, I mean, what name one good movie prior to 1990? Let's say five. <sighs> you can't. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I don't like Pulp Fiction. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess RoboCop's okay, but. <laughs> I do possess the books of ease. Should Dark Fact acquire the... God, I can't believe the villain in this game is Dark Fact. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even try. Okay. Just to be clear, she's the lady I gave the harmonica to, right? Mm -hmm. the, no? Yes. The troubadour lady? Well, I actually, oh. I'm just talking about ass. Like, I, I, I had no idea. Right. Because she introduced herself as the troubadour. That's, that's what I do when someone introduces me. I'm like, hello, my name's Matthew, the student. Oh, look, the monocle. Ugh. Also, stop, whatever this fucking Skype noise shit is. That's stop Google it. Plus. That's Google? Yeah, that's yeah. that's Ryan coming back in. Uh, hi. I'm gonna make <laughs> all the Google sounds. No, Ray is the one that you saved that was hanging out with uh, the old lady. Um, yeah. Oh, no. That's not Rhea, that's, uh, that's Fina. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Rhea, Rhea's the troubadour. <laughs> yeah, no, you're totally right. Also, I just muted, um, I don't, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, I just muted the Google Hangout, I apologize. <laughs> you gotta go through this all again. <laughs> okay. Let's go on it. Let's go. We just gotta book it to the top floor. No, you gotta. You remember, you gotta go back down to the 11th floor first. You have to go to loot the Gemma. Ah, oh, for fuck's blue. sake! <laughs> yeah, the blue thing. This was. This is. This was a uh, top tier design back in. Okay. Back in the day. Just gotta book it. Guys, there are two moons in this game. What? What's up with that? What's up with that? The, I mean. You raise an interesting line of questioning. What is up with that? What's up with me? 
What if yeast is in a far off, far off future um, when humans colonize some alien planet, um, but they lose all their technology and revert to their medieval instincts? So that's why we got all this uh, alien geometry. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Hey, they can't prove otherwise. Okay, get out of my way. Let's go. Let's book. <laughs> Guys, come on. You pretty much know your way around this uh, maze place, at least. No! <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just trying to <laughs> cut you some snacks here, buddy. Bullshitting my way through it, like always. <laughs> well, you bullshitted it faster than normal. Yeah. You pretty much flawlessly, so I'm gonna say you have it under control. I guess I'm better at bullshitting now. What's, what floor am I on? Twelve. Alright. I can't believe I'm still playing these. <laughs> I cannot. I, li I like. I just. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This took you longer than Dark Souls. Yeah, that's mm. true. Considerably longer. I started playing a sorcerer in Dark Souls. Oh, but it was. It? it was right before uh, we recorded the podcast. Sure. So how, how I, I. I. I didn't do any source sorcerer rank. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I killed the Taurus demon. Not mm. the Taurus demon, the Asylum demon. I tried yeah. to start a character to do a fists only run. That seems pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, that seems. I don't don't get me wrong, dude. You're pretty good at Dark Souls, but I don't know if you could ever get past. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's some of fair. Those harder bosses. That's yeah. fair. Uh, I could I couldn't really get past the Asylum demon. Yeah. So, I mean, it might be a thing I return to. Just if I have some t to try to get good enough to do it. I mean, maybe if you level up all your skills to... I'm maybe. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I saved the girl, so now I'm bleeding out. I'll give you this shit. <laughs> oh, you had to read the use books. Oh, that's right. You have to read it in front. That's not a good... Oh god, what he says there is not good enough to tell me that I need to read the book in front of him. Oh, that's right, I have to equip the... <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Where's the monocle? There it is. It's over to the left. Yeah, there it is. Book of oh, Gamma. God. Damn it, Ryan. He came... Bringing, by the way, this is about as much as you get for securing a book of ease in terms of, of dialogue and right. like story, which is ridiculous, <laughs> given the shit I've gone through to get these books. He came bringing his demon hordes with him, and amidst our darkest terrors, the goddesses disappeared. They have not been seen hence. See, it's all old Englishy. Yeah. Have we been forsaken? We of the line of Gamma know an ancient story. It speaks of an amulet made of a translucent blue crystal. This amulet, the story says, has the power to destroy the demons' its dreaded curses. Take note, however. The wait that time has wrought upon this tale proceed with wisdom, for there is danger. I really wish there'd be some ease, you know. So do I have to... Do I have to read all of the books? Maybe. Just, just keep doing that while I look at this. Um, the Book of Mesa. We turn to loot a gem on the floor and he'll hand it over. That's all it says. He should just be giving it to you. Give what to me? The amulet. I have an amulet, don't I? No, you have a necklace. Oh, I'm sorry. I just have the blue necklace instead of the blue amulet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How could I get that confused? We have finally found ourselves cornered in the Temple of Solomon. The six great demons dog our every step, and will be upon us soon. We have decided to leave this land for now, and hope that we may one day return. Take heed, O oh divided peoples, for grievous times loom upon all paths of the future. But do not lose hope, for time has decreed that a guide shall come. O oh peoples, still your laments! There we you go. Know what, you know what I really like? Ye old pizza shops. Okay, so just to be clear, what I did yeah. is I read the Book of Gamma. Yeah. He didn't say shit. 
I read the book of Mesa. Maybe you have to take off the monocle. No. I think you have to step away from him and then from him and then come back. I did that with after reading the book of Gamma. And he didn't but then I read the book oh. of Mesa and he's like, Oh, that's the book of Gamma you have there. So <laughs> fuck it. Thanks. Yeah. It's good to know all, right, all now the... just load up your save from up in front of that door and we'll be good to go. That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, right, come on. It's nice to know all the menial bullshit friends will put you through even when bleeding to death to just give you some dumb bullshit like a blue amulet. <laughs> oh, look, it's I'd called, be I'd love to give you the blue amulet. Really I would. It's just um <sighs> Could you like read me a book first? <laughs> he is dying to be fair, like. Now that's the other thing. He claims his leg is broken or something. But that's not what happens when your leg breaks. You don't start bleeding out. I mean, I guess what if it, unless... what if it pierces the skin? It's right. It it it's clearly not though. It's clear he clearly stumbled over here and he's clearly clutching his gut. <laughs> you went back just to prove me wrong. Yeah, look at what he's clutching. Yeah, you know, I got you. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit well, of his bad leg is a bit worse than previously, so... Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess and all also, of his... And also my gut is fucked. In a... <laughs> That's the thing. In an indirect way, everything about him is sort of shittier, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. This is the one where I have to go down to go up. <laughs> it's telling me something. I think we can get back up there real quick, and then... Maybe I'm the glad you think that. Is person controlling maybe, East. <laughs> maybe just the last episode will be us fighting Dark Fact. Yeah, maybe Dark Fact is the final boss, I take it then? Yes. And then uh, apparently Darm is the first boss of East 2. Oh, great. Which would make more sense since you know Darm's tower. Yeah, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? It's sort of, uh, it's shitty that they put that in the sequel. Because clearly I'm in his tower, so I should fight him this game. It's sort of like Broken Age. Yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, I think you start the second one in this tower also. Right. Yeah. That's just... Then you have to work your way down the tower. That's like if you if you got through World Aid and Super Mario Brothers to fight, like, another Koopa kid, and then Super Mario Brothers 2 came out and it begins with you in the last level of Super Mario Brothers fighting Bowser. <laughs> Whoa... You'd be all like, whoa. Yeah, I would. It's got me there. I would be all like, whoa. <laughs> At least you don't have to fight the bosses on your way back up now. You're right, I should really be thankful <laughs> for this predicament. East is really, is really bestowing a lot of gifts upon me. <laughs> you don't have to randomly fight all the bosses you've already killed. Thanks, East. Man, I'm really hungry. Yeah. That's definitely hurting my my mojo here. Hurting your speed run time? Yeah. This is a speed... Everything I do is a speed run, to be clear. Theoretically, yeah. Not theoretically, it is. I mean, I'm oh, not saying all of them are going to be great, but... But do mark down the times. Okay. Up there... Down here. Oh, oh man. We go up. Oh, okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Too late. Yep, you were right. This is a little nonsensical. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a bunch of mirrors. Why would mirrors even transport you to places? I don't like... know. I have a rod. <laughs> <laughs> God, fuck! <laughs> so, I'm so done, Ease. I'm so done. I'm so done with your bullshit, Ease.
Okay, it looks like you're through. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Does it now? No, actually, it doesn't. It actually looks like you fucked up. <laughs> you done fucked up, son. Oh, Why did you just adapt a Larry the Cable Guy esque persona there for a second? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That's he's... how I'm gonna voice my ex character in FGN. Uh... Oh good, you and Cowboy Kingpin might be good friends. <laughs> Cowboy Kingpin's a pretty good name. It is. Cowboy Kingpin. <laughs> He's not even a cowboy or a king. <laughs> He's just sort of a mild man or like southern conservative. <laughs> he doesn't even do anything that that audacious. <laughs> uh, people should go to AaronOffound.org, listening to 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 Family Game Night, our podcast for yeah. for fun. Ugh. Now look, I'm back here. Did you did you win? No. Oh. I didn't God win. damn! What have you done? I, There's I'm... one mirror you're not going through. Yeah, I know. Just say that mirror, Ryan. Don't. No, I don't know. I'm oh, just okay. saying. <laughs> I'm just observing. Okay, oh. so that's not right. Noted. <laughs> this is why we need that pen and paper. Yeah, Fuck you. you. How would you even note this on a pen and paper? Well, you first you draw all the boxes in the map. Well, you would write. Yep. <laughs> Figured it out. You got me. I mapped out the cube in the cube mod I played for Fallout 3 with graph oh, yeah. paper. Each square on the graph paper was in was a cube, and then I connected all of the cubes that it lets out into. I feel like we've been in this room for five minutes. Then there's a part where you go up a floor in the cube, but like all of the cubes just lay on it flat, so like every cube directly corresponds to the cube, and it was a great feeling when I was like, holy shit, I mapped this out successfully, so I know what's going to be under this cube. All right. It's a big, it was a big, big thing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up, go up, go up. Go, go up? Go up. Okay. Because I swear to fucking God, you've been through that Which mirror. one? Okay, go to right, the right. The right. Okay, now what? Um, up. Now, let's see. No, 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 no. There's go no right. other door go right up again. there. Go right again. Go right again. There's what no about, other door. What about the one where you go down? There's no... There's no mirrors? Shit. There are two mirrors. There's that one and there's this uh, one. Go back through that one. <laughs> the one you just went through. You asshole. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> oh, God. Obviously, I don't think. I don't think. Hey, I saved the, saved the day twice in a row. What can I say? Yeah, I really should upgrade you to virtual. Or space quartermaster. Maybe I'll make you what space... About space assistant quartermaster. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you virtual quartermaster, and Ryan, you can be space stowaway. <laughs> okay. How's that yeah. sound? Splitting the difference. Space stowaway. Virtual quartermaster. So am I just an AI assistant. in this? I thought he was going to be assistant to the time captain. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Assistant to Mr. Tugnati. <laughs> it's hard to say, you know. God damn it. It's not where I want to be. Ugh. I feel like I am East, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I know. As the person who's been playing East this whole time, I know exactly what he means. It's pretty horrifying. I have, you know, I have sort of, 99 sort of broken at the gold. core. <laughs> I have as much gold as you can... Nope! I have as much gold as you could ever possibly have. I would have uh, not been happy if you did. In the mirror. I would have. Not as not as happy not as not as happy as you would have been. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been pretty oh, yeah. so happy. <laughs> Great. This music's still alright. Yeah, it's alright. It's kinda Actually, like I looked up the award, it's um best music of all time. Oh okay. Oh, okay. It was awarded to this game by Atlas. I th I'd... once again I don't know where they get off thinking they can do that. <laughs> Uh, like, 
where they impartially. Get yeah. Also, um, they're wrong. This game does not have the best music of all time. Do they mean as a series? No. East Book One. Yeah. No. No. Not so much. Remember those sick guitar riffs when you'd just be running around the overworld, though. Yeah, I mean the riffs are fine. I'm not. <laughs> the oh. riffs are fine. Just the overall instrumentation. It's, you know, the instrumentation isn't great. It's a little one note. Yeah. It's a little Sonic Adventure-y. I think Sonic Adventure ruined a lot of like sort of real hardcore soaring guitar, music. soaring guitar yeah. riffs for yeah. me because I just always think of Sonic Adventure and how dumb it was. Yeah, that's fair. I, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance had a pretty good guitar yeah. riff. I, I could do without all of the times the lyrics kick in. I cannot fucking stand, like, the vocal instrumentation of, like, metal. Of, like, that sort of um, softcore uh, metal. Please, please, Evan, it's metalcore. <laughs> okay. Metalcore. I'm sorry. I don't know all the bullshit terminologies. Next, you'll be telling me it's a roguelike like and not a roguelike. <laughs> what? People say that? Yes. That's depressing. When games don't get like. When games aren't like the game Rogue, but are instead like. Uh, the game Rogue. But not like it. No, are, are instead like games that are like Rogue. It's a further layer of, of abstraction. Right. I didn't realize that Rogue was like an actual game. Yeah, no, it is. That's why they're I didn't realize that that's where the genre was derived from. Okay. Alright. Almost there. There was a part a couple minutes ago where I got really hungry and I thought I was going to vomit for a second. <laughs> now <laughs> that, that is subside. Subside that. I am having a stroke. <laughs> but that's subsided largely. You're sort of. Subside. Stumbling through the rest of this. Is there any other way? Um, do you have to go up to go down again? I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> trying my best. God no, damn just... it! Wait, what? It, can you go on? Wait, the, do the I have to? The it? room before this splits into two. Does it? Uh, isn't there something I have to equip here to like get? Transported well, or something? Well, is that no, because you already, you already got it. Okay, That's I just... where you got, like, the flame sword or something. Okay. No, not the flame sword, the uh, battle armor, I think. One of the... One of those stone things, I swear, at some point in this game, teleports you somewhere. Just oh, one. no, it totally did that before you got the, uh... Oh, okay. Piece. But since you opened the, tri the chest, it no longer does. That makes sense. Man, I'm really gonna enjoy it when this ease weight is off my chest. Well, I mean, we have East too. Yeah, I know. And every other East. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't have to play them all one after the other, though. There are a lot of JRPGs. A lot of good ones, too. Yeah, why don't you play a good JRPG, dude? I Can't mean... Can't you go over to the left? I mean, I mean, I guess Skies of Arcadia is Skies of Arcadia good. is pretty good, yeah. Um... We played Dark Souls. I have Dark I like yeah, Dark, yeah, Dark Souls. Souls. I have my issues with, with both. Uh, we haven't Boom. played. You like them. We haven't played like a uh, a really classic, like one. a like a really or just really, you know. Uh, good. We don't know. Maybe Pandora's Power is fantastic. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe we are. That's going to be the next order of business once he wraps up. By the way, is, is to, to clear off the rest of the shit you started. <laughs> yeah, is Tate. I mean, it's really just at that point we've. It's just all we have running is Pandora's Tower and. Um, Skies. Skies. Yeah. So I'm gonna need to buy some new shit. Or, mm -hmm. or figure out what I wanna play. Well, you got Earthbound. I do have Earthbound. Matthew, would you be interested in sitting in on... We recorded one episode and it fucked up, technically. On a uh, Shin Megami Tensei 1 playthrough? Sure. Okay. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Game is interesting. Yeah. I think so. Okay, wait. Come on. If people can hear my dog barking. When did when did Shimagami Tensei 1 come out? 1991. Okay, and then two followed a few years later. Yeah, I believe. 
believe that's how it that would that would follow <laughs> how it went. Yeah, um, it's a it's a surprisingly ambitious game. Mm -hmm. It's surprising how much of it you can really still see in in like a modern Atlas RPG. Right. Sometime we have to play the first Final Fantasy. Start yeah, I, I played a little bit of that Fantasy. and got incredibly bored, so I stopped. Yeah, that's no, that's what happens. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm gonna play all of these, and I was like, nah. <laughs> won't playing the first Final. And then Fantasy I, I was like playing four, four, and I was like, you know, this is also cool, but eh. Yeah. At least that was a little more interesting. Yeah. What was that? Won't uh, playing Final Fantasy kick us off on our Final Fantasy journey? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know that that journey means that we have to do the one after the other, but just that no. we will do them in order. I'm going to have to play fucking Final Fantasy 2. I'm going to have to play Final Fantasy 3. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. The game is pretty I, ha I have a suggestion. Let's not be around the push. I will take the helm of the Final Fantasy 13 series. <laughs> uh, Okay. I'd be delighted. I'd be delighted to see you play through this. <laughs> so that's what you want to do, because you really seem down about the idea of having to play those games again. So I said, "Oh, I'll do it." I mean, I never beat thirteen. Maybe you never thirteen. Beat 13? No. Oh man. I mean, well, I played. I played as much of it as I felt that um, I deserved to. <laughs> <laughs> At which point, I was like, you know, for I, your sake, I hope it was no more than an hour. <laughs> I have now. I played like eight hours. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Oh, like, you didn't even. Oh. Boy, this oh, game has an. I. I mean, oh. I know what happens in it. I yeah. read a plot synopsis before starting Lightning Returns and Thirteen Two. Right. Yeah. yeah. But um. <laughs> so, how do I go up? You have your. You have to go through the mirror room. But that's not the same mirror room. It's a right. diff different mirror room, and I went through it, and it spit me out here. I guess it's possible there's another... I don't think you went through the right door. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> it's not exactly the most clear-cut fucking tower layout. What are you talking about? They changed the tint? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. They did change the tint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't factor in the tint. This game's revolutionary, yeah. Yeah. I am all aboard the East Train. It is oh, we're true. about to disembark, fortunately. <laughs> that in playing some of Lightning Returns, mm -hmm. it uh, it's making me pretty bummed out that they wasted the the concept for that game on a on a thirteen canon game. Yeah. Because nothing about it really makes any sense in the in the thirteen. Like, they in fact no, go well, out of their way to sort of would imply that the thirteen canon ever made sense. Right, but it doesn't even like. Some characters are just reassigned, like, random... Like, Hope is your fucking god messenger, like, squadron leader guy who hangs out in your in your god castle right. and informs you about how many souls you need to collect. Right. And it's just like, why is this even... They, there's even stuff in the game that sort of goes out of its way to, to self-awarely disregard stuff from previous Final Fantasy XIII games. And it's that's even that's even more infuriating to an extent because it's like, well, if you guys never liked this, then... right? What are you what are you, what are you doing? Evan, just go through the same mirrors you just did, and then go to the left one. What this? No, like you got down to the bottom right where all like the two mirrors were in the same room. There's no... What are you talking about? The, yeah, Those two you mirrors? Were, you were in that room, but you went through the right, so go back to that room and go through the left. Yeah, I don't know how to get back to that fucking room. You just did it! <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, here. Is... I'll go through here. The most insulting right. thing you could do is claim that I am in any way deficient at this, and that this is like, this is a <laughs> piece of cake. Th yeah, this this is a totally fair and um, and well-designed segment. Of these. <laughs> I mean, I would just assume that you remembered 
from two minutes ago what mirrors you went through. Oh my... Right, let's not... let's not, um... I cannot wait for you to play one of these games. I cannot <laughs> wait for you to play one of these games and stumble through either not knowing how to play a JRPG while talking or being entirely silent while you focus on playing it. It will be so vindicating. And then we get to bug you. Yeah. You're like, Brian, G gonna be what great. happened? What happened to this? To the these all these quartermasters? Yeah. What happened to like? Oh, yeah, I thought you would have remembered the fucking random mirrors you went through that one time. Hmm. Okay, I think you might be through. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bad news, I don't have any health. Barely any health. You can equip that ring. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's do that now, and then we'll call it. <laughs> and we can let people, uh... <laughs> can let, let, them, let them stew. <laughs> let them stew. Because this is the final boss, right? Yeah, yeah. You can the go next in episode the door. will be like five minutes long. Yeah. You can go in the door and then save in there. I think you're lying to me. <laughs> uh, I, I think you just wanted me to fight the boss. Look, if you want to do that and not have a cliffhanger, then fine. No, I just wanted you to get into that room and then not, not be able to save. So yeah, no, I get, I get that. That's a dick move. <laughs> you recognize. You'd probably make me go through that mirror maze again. Do we really want that? Yes, okay. I do. I have a feeling I'm the only one, though. Yeah, yeah, that's a good feeling. Okay. Save. Tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of East. I'm Time Captain Evan, joined by Space Stowaway Ryan McGinley. Ev Evan, I've been looking through this walkthrough, and um, it looks like you actually need to go back to the first village. <laughs> and virtual <laughs> quartermaster Matthew Malewski. Um, uh, hey... JRPG is story of future perfect deactivate. <laughs>